Yo, hey YouTube, this is Sniper here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Game Boy Advance emulator and ROMs onto your iPhone using new repos. Today's date is the 18th of June 2011, so we're going to be using all up to date repos. This is a very quick method, easy method. We're not going to be using any biases, we're not going to have to link this to the computer or shushing or any of that stuff. This is all very simple. We're also not going to be using the 123.locker repo that's not that's obviously not working because everyone's getting the HTTP 404 errors. So we're not going to be using that either. So um, yeah, let's go for this. So straight into Acidia, um, Manage, Sources. You then want to go into Edit, Add up here. And then type in a sinful the sinful iPhone a repo source, which is S I N F U L I P H O N E R E P O dot C O M forward slash. Uh, just add that source in there. Uh, quick tip: whenever you add in any source into Cydia, always type dot C O M yourself and not use the uh, pre-scripted one on the keyboard because sometimes it brings up faulty sources for some reason. It's just one of them weird bugs. But anyway, so once you've added that um, simple iPhone repo source, you want to then navigate into it. And then look down the side and click on G. And then you'll see this GPS phone cracked, which is the Game Boy Advance emulator. So, yep, just want to go into that. It says modify here, but what you'll have is... Uh, install and confirm which you can do now so go ahead and do that once that's done stay in Cydia go straight back to manage sources and put in the insanely repository which is again edit add and then put in repo dot i n s a n e l y i dot c o m forward slash go ahead and install that source now Okay, now navigate back to the Manage Sources page and go into your Insanely Repository page. Um, now what you want to do is again click on the G on the side, scroll down and here are your ROMs here. You've got your Game Boy Advance Pokemon ROMs, your Game Boy ROMs Pack 1, your Game Boy ROMs Pack 2, your Game Boy ROMs Pack 3. I want you to start with the Pokemon ROM pack at the top, go ahead and install that one, come back to this page, install pack 1, 2 and 3. Once you have done that, go back to Manage, Sources and I want you to go in and add this source, so again Edit, Add and type in the X Salise source which is C Y D I A dot X S E double L I Z E dot C O M. Once you have added that, navigate back to this page and go on to this source. Again, I want you to go to the G on the side for the Game Boy Advance, scroll down, and there they are here. These are two different ROM packs which may contain different ROMs to the ones you've already installed but I install them anyway just in case there's a game I've missed. You can also head to M and look for Mario if it's not in the packs already you've already installed and you can find Mario and Yoshi and other things as well. Another thing is if the Pokemon game you're looking for was not installed Go back to your the insanely repository. You can also just navigate to P and scroll down until you get to Pokemon, and they have all the individual ROMs for every single Pokemon game released on the Game Boy Advance, even hacked versions, um, ported versions from other consoles onto this system and they're all here I mean you've got your sapphire your ruby your fire red your leaf green and then you've got also really good uh, hacked versions like the orange version which I'd highly recommend it's really good fun that one and uh, yeah emerald chaos black another hacked one but they're all great install them all like I have and you're on to a winner um, if, if you look in the Insaley repo, if you just take 5-10 minutes just to scroll through, there's a lot of other really cool stuff you can install and other games that you'll find in here. 
and that's the same principle with Exiles as well. There's really cool stuff just looking through here. Just read them, go on them, and install a few things. You'll find some really cool stuff. And again, with your sinful iPhone repo, there's all sorts of emulators on here, so always get your emulators on here. There's a thing here called Barrel Cracked on the sinful. You want to get that, that's really cool. That gives you this screen here, the barrel roll, but like my icons are moving now. And there's loads of other things. You can make it look like a cube and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, once you've done that anyway, as you can see, we've left Cydia now and that's fine. We're right to do that. You've got all your ROM packs installed. You've got your sinful iPhone, GPS iPhone installed, emulators installed. So just go along until you see the icon, which is here. The Game Boy Advance icon. Icon. As you can see, I've got a PS1 on my phone. I've got a Game Boy Advance uh, Color and normal Game Boy. I've got my SNES. I've got my Mega Drive. These are all found within what you've seen today and what I've shown you using the same sources, the same repositories, and the same ROM system finding methods, so that you can get everything you need. Okie doke. So anyway, go into here your uh, GPS phone which is the Game Boy Advance emulator and here are all the games you will have installed if you installed the packs and followed my instructions properly um, and here they all are I'll just show you one quickly working if I go to one of my saves uh, Pokemon Fire Red uh, Landscape and Portrait as you see the buttons are there but they go invisible you can see them but they're very faint and this is an excellent emulator because you get the full screen of the iPhone a lot of other emulators only give you a small section of the screen dedicated to the actual picture which is obviously no good sorry about that um, yeah and here we are I'm just about to enter the Poke League I've been playing this for about using this method now for about two weeks I've not had a problem with any of my ROMs any of the emulators at all so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed my video, it's the first one, um, I, I know some really cool stuff about the iPhone and about Cydia, so if I get good feedback on this first video, I will get my own page going and uh, show you some more really cool stuff that I found out. You've been chilling out with Sniper, uh, peace out, God bless.